Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I just want to congratulate the, the, the Parliament um, for this motion in front of us and to also provide my full support. Um, I think um, it is very apt at, at, at this time, you know, particularly where we see gender identity coming under threat in the world. Um, it is really unfortunate that um, the ladies in the, uh, our guests here um, did not recognize the acting gender minister this morning when he had his hair all glossy and I know it was just for the purpose of, yes, he was very glossy and bright this morning because he was presenting this bill, you know, for the ladies. Um, so it's kind of still right now, but he did come to make a significant impression on the ladies, you know. So, um, but but um, I, I noted, I noted, Mr. Speaker, that um, the member for Soufre, she did you indicate, Madam, and I just seeking clarify that you, the, 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 you're recognizing from 1979 onwards. Is that what? You, okay, because I, I I thought it kind of unfortunate, or maybe it was something that you. I know you mentioned her name, but I thought it very um, apt that we should recognize the first female parliamentarian who came into office in 1974, which is a little time which Harold and Rock. Oh, oh, Grace Augustine. Okay, well, okay, well, here you go, here you go. First elected. That's not, okay, that's what I wanted to say. Thank you, sir. Thank you for that. Um, you know, and, and, and I think um, maybe her, the presence then may have influenced so many other, so many other women. I, I see um, Dr. Plummer, um, Kajada, who was my first PS um, when I came in and the support she gave me was definitely something that I, I appreciate. And so I want to congratulate all who will be part of this caucus and I wish them the very best and note that they have the full support of this side of the house. Thank you very much.